it was quite necessary to begin this work, to provide the visitor with a guide to the area that will gather some understanding of its variation. These are the hopes of Manx algae, a lovingly detailed study of Manx seaweeds that came to influence generations of algologists. For the purpose of our journey, it's also a call to adventure, as we follow the trail of Dr Marjorie Knight, botany lecturer at the University of Liverpool, seaweed specialist and painter. Five of her oil paintings are in the collection of the Victoria Gallery and Museum. Each canvas a meeting point of life histories and a chance to step into her world on the Isle of Man. What perspectives will we find as we scramble over rocks and trek down coastal paths? I don't want to go to Idaho I don't want to go to Tennessee Take me with a smile to Mona's Isle That's the place for me I don't want to go to the continent I know a better plan I want to be a tripper and eat a juicy kipper On the day old Isle of Man Here, where the land dips down to the sound, the cliffs give way to inlets and small bays, offering a variety of algal habitats with floras of varied character. Now, the beauty of the thing when Childa plays is the terrible, wonderful length the days is. Up your jumps! and out in the sun, and you fancy the day will never be done, and you're chasing the bumbies on into cross in the hot sweet air among the goss, or a climbing and nearly breaking your skulls, or a shouting for divilman after the gulls. The deep coast lying between Port Erin Bay and the Sound is largely inaccessible to exploration, except at one or two points. Out under the Irish Sea, 15 or 16 miles southwest of where we are now, there is an enchanted isle. Long, long ago, it was on the surface of the water in the days when Manannan ruled in Man. When St. Patrick came and drove Manannan out, Manannan came to live on the enchanted isle, dropping it to the bottom of the sea to be seen no more. But once... In seven years, when Old May Day is on a Sunday, the Enchanted Isle may be seen as it rises from the sea just before sunrise, like a beautiful vision. If you are near enough, you may see the tossing arms and golden hair of the mermaids. But as the first rays of the sun rest upon its highest hills, it sinks into the deep, deep sea. Can we take 
Come, come to the hills. They are wild and free. A thousand voices in music call, from the pleasant song of the mountain bee to the sound of the rushing waterfall. If thou hast sighed for thy childhood's choice, or the vernal haunts thou hast left in vain, if thy heart still echoes to freedom's voice, come, nature's child, to the hills again. As I went out one morning clear athwart the daisied leaves, the winds and songbirds sang of love amid the budding trees, and in my heart love sweetly sang, I sang my own of thee. The earth and sky, my heart and I, were bathed in mellow. The general trend of the coast brings it almost parallel to the direction of the prevailing winds, thus protecting it from the full force of the worst gales. From the point of view of the algologist, however, one of the most interesting points of coast in the area is Bay Nakarika. There's a wicked little fella that goes among us, dear, and the wickedness that's at him is telling far and near. He's prowling in the agate, 
handing at every doer, and coaxing, and persuading, and his name is Trader Lua. The house is all through others. The childers late for school. The man is spending all his time in looking for a tool. The woman's tired tremendous with clearing up the flour. And the one that's doing all the jail is wicked. Trader Lua. A rough cart track, starting just beyond the cottage, provides an easier means of access. In the summertime, this is an excellent hunting ground for seaweed. See the excise men are coming, paddling all my leather. They'll be seeking wine and whiskey, paddling all my leather. Oh, him, ya no mean, paddling all my leather. Daddy's late and we must warn him, paddling all my leather. So many stories dwell here of worlds outlived and excisemen outsmarted. If the definition of the term perennial implies merely a capacity for withstanding an unfavourable season, then these are perennial. And then there's the stories of Marjorie scrambling over the rocks in search of seaweed. Her work on the Isle of Man influenced a group of students that would become trailblazing algologists. Dr Mary Park, co-author of Manx Algae, rose to eminence with her work on microalgae. And Dr Joanna Jones, a pioneer of scientific diving, often spoke of her gratitude tonight. What air is left to us of ancient heritage? The limited horizon of our stage. Old love. Hope. Fear. All this I fain would fix upon the page that so the coming age may see as in a glass what they held dear. Clearly, there must be for each genus in its appropriate season some cooperative influence of all the effective factors of the environment. 